Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today I have not one, but two completely separate Unity Asset bundles. One of them is on the Unity Asset Store, uh, curated by CodeMonkey, a fellow YouTuber and an all-around great guy. The other one we've got here, this one's more straightforward, this is from Meshing Gun, a set of mega pack of environment assets. You can see one of them in action right now, this is a gothic medieval environment. And then here we have one that is just a pure nightmare fuel, it is a carnival, I find these kind of amazing among the most terrifying places on earth, but it probably says more about me than other people. Being an idea of what you're getting in these assets. Tons of modular assets uh, you can use, again, for various different environments. You got a ton of different environments going on. Again, you can see here this one, if you needed to create a carnival or a fairground, that is the stuff that you've got. And one last demonstration, here we have a pharaoh themed one. So if you need to create like an ancient Egyptian environment, a ton of modular assets for doing exactly that. Think about these assets, you can export them out to other game engines. The other one, the code monkey thing, almost useless outside of Unity. This one, more useful for sure. Uh, there are guides down below. So if you wanna get these out into Unreal Engine or Godot, for example, uh, those guides will show you how you can do exactly that. So. Let's go take a look at these two bundles. So the first one is super straightforward. It has the name, the Badass Et Bundle. Uh, this is 14 mega packs of Unity. I don't know if that Badass Et name is brilliant or cringeworthy or maybe brilliantly cringeworthy. Let me know in the comments down below. But this one is super straightforward. It is 14 items here. A little bit on the pricier side than we normally see. I think that would be $40 US, maybe even $45 US for the top tier. And then you're not going to get this tier because of the price or potentially this tier here. So realistically, it is a more pricey or expensive bundle than we traditionally see. But these are also really large packs. So the value is down to you. Generally, one item is worth more than the entire bundle, even though these prices seem a little bit artificially inflated to me. Uh, you do see at the end of the day, uh, if you buy one item in the pack, it makes the entire thing worthwhile for you. So I'm not going to break this down into different things because, again, by that pricing, you're probably going to get this tier or no tiers at all. And here you got, again, the carnival. We saw that in action, an apocalyptic hospital. You can also notice things marked up here with this little red or first time in humble bundle. So that means it's never been in a previous bundle. If not, what you're going to notice is otherwise it shows here. The other thing you're going to notice here is they're all pro license versions. So uh, you're getting the full fat version of these. And by the way, these do redeem on the Unity Asset Store using uh, a single key per tier. So once you redeem them, it's as if you bought them directly from Unity Asset Store. You get updates and all that stuff. So uh, Gothic Interiors, then we got Feudal J Japanese, um, Pharaoh's Legacy Egyptian Temple, Gothic Exteriors, uh, Decay Oil Drum District, Medieval Village Mega Pack, the Elven Oak Village, Stylized Village Flat Pack. I know for sure we've had these two in previous... What? Oh! Okay, we've had them elsewhere. Uh, might actually have been uh, Unreal Engine giveaways. So um, then we have the Fantasy Gothic pack, the Bazaar, uh, the Cyber Town, and the Asian Temple pack. So again, make sure you don't already own the things that you're interested in, but it is pretty straightforward. Again, these redeem on the Unity Asset Store. Once redeemed, as if you bought them directly from Unity. Now, the other one is you are buying it directly from Unity. And this is the 25 assets for $25 bundle. Um, Code Monkey is the one that chose all of these assets here. Uh, you're going to find the dollar value of a lot of these assets is lower. And he actually very, very heavily into the tools side of things. But... Uh, $25 purchase, uh, basically here, you'll save 95% total. What did he pick? Well, he picked, okay, I do not know why we just rethemed in color, but okay. Uh, he picked the depth-based pixelator, pixelize your 3D scenes, cable system physics, the Roslyn C-Sharp runtime compiler 2.0, the runtime transform gizmos, the ultimate preview window pro edition, the card visual effects suite, burger shop, uh, I think this is one of the only asset things we've seen here. Uh, U debug panel, in-game debug tools, cartoon effects pack 3D, UV editor and texture editor, uh, retro noir, better animation events, body poser, it's dead simple, decal or decal collider, runtime debugger toolkit, uh, destructible sprite toolkit, cut and break 2D, the anime powers pack, the hot rod constructor modular battle cars, uh, so I guess these are assets as well. Uh, cr uh, crates and barrels, stylized destructible props, the stylized VFX buff and debuff volume one, uh, visual console, uh, nestable horiz horizontal debug logs, the time rewind, dev trails, developer statistics made easy, wingman, your inspector's best 
friend, and finally grab it. And you're gonna notice here, I'm actually logged in, and of all of these assets here, I actually only owned one at this point in time, which was Grabbit here. Grabbit's kind of cool too. It allows you to work physics-esque when manipulating things inside of the editor. That gives you an idea of the things you chose here. So again, you're 25 bucks, you're getting a ton of utilities and tools. If that is what you're out for, again, you can see here, I don't own any of these and I have like hundreds of assets on the uh, Unity Asset Store. So that part is pretty cool, but again, uh, Pretty much absolutely useless if you're not a Unity developer. This is a full-on Unity uh, bundle. Whereas this one, uh, again, straightforward. They redeem on the Unity Asset Store, uh, but these are a ton of different environments. These could be exported out to uh, other environments if you were willing to go through the work. And again, a number of guys for doing so are down below. And if you use my links for either of these bundles, it does help support me on the channel, and I very much appreciate it. So I'm curious about a couple things. First off, what do you like better? Do you like an asset bundle like this one, or do you like a tool bundle? like this one. Again, very different bundles, uh, very different dollar values attached to these bundles as well. Uh, and again, very different end uses. So I'm curious, what do you think of these? Also, are you in the Unity ecosystem and are you buying assets? Again, I'd be curious to hear about that. Let me know in the comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.